Hey everyone, Lee here from Mark Smithsy Property Group with another weekly real estate market update. Southeast Queensland continues to outperform other property markets around Australia. Now, the biggest reason for that, I think, is that increasing demand, that migration that's coming from interstate, a lot of people looking for properties on the Sunshine Coast in Brisbane and around the Southeast Queensland corridor. So lots of interest in the area and certainly that's pushing prices up a little bit further here still. Now, typically this time of the year is a sleepy time, end of December all the way through to January and even into February, you don't really see too much real estate market activity. However, this year has been a little bit different. It's been a little bit more buoyant and we've recorded the number of sales across the Christmas period. So there is demand there. There are the buyers there. However, we have noticed a slight slowing in the time it's taking to sell some properties, not all properties. Some properties are still going very quickly but some properties are taking a little bit longer than they had previously. Now that could be to do with a bit of a slowdown in the real estate industry. We've certainly seen the Southern markets, New South Wales and Melbourne. We've seen a slowing market there. Um, or it could just be because we've got a sleepy market. Now it is Christmas, people are still on holidays, people are still getting um, back into work. Um, so there is that slow progress there. So the next four weeks will be critical to see what happens uh, in the real estate market. And it'll be a key sign to what happens uh, throughout 2020. My prediction is going to be a fairly strong market uh, for the first six months of the year, and then we might see some stabilizations later in the year. That's just my gut feeling right now, and that could change very quickly as well. We did notice over the last week, property prices across the combined capital cities rose another 0.3%, so a little bit slower than um, what we experienced last year, um, but certainly it's still growing. 0.3% is still a growth. So uh, property price, uh, dwelling prices are still moving north. Um, the other thing that's been noticed, according to Core Logic, um, is that there's been an increase in new listings coming to the market in Brisbane. This is uh, of 43.5 percent, and I, I think that the the, uh, the the new listings up here on the Sunshine Coast would be fairly consistent with that as well. We have seen a number of properties prior to Christmas um, and over the Christmas period come to the market in the area. Now, whilst new listings are up uh, year on year, 43 percent they're actually still down 29% over the five-year average. So there's less properties available and there's still that increased and heightened buyer demand right now. So what they're saying is that for every one property, one new property that's listed, 1.4 properties are being sold. So there's just not enough property still to keep up with demand and that's going to cause, or still be a favourable market for property owners and, and people that are thinking of selling uh, into the uh, new year of 2022. We've had a number of great sales over the Christmas period. Uh, nine Tangerine here in the old the state of Palmwoods uh, went to the market just before Christmas and we got it under contract just after the first open home. Multiple offers received on that one, $980,000. Great result there uh, for our clients. We had another street record here in Palmwoods, uh, Starkey Street, lovely four bedroom home uh, with a pool, uh, partially renovated and presented to the market as uh, a nice property and a great family home. And that went under contract just before Christmas as well. And now it's unconditional as of yesterday. So some good results there as well. Another one here, again, a property that's been on the market for about four weeks, so a little bit longer than the average, um, which is, you know, been sitting around 15 days. But, you know, four weeks is still well under what we were used to um, 12, 24 months ago, which was more around the 30 to 60 days time on the market. So anyway, Nine Lingara has been on the market for about four weeks. And uh, fortunately, we have a great result for our owners there today um, that has been signed off as well. So guys, lots of uh, movement in the marketplace. We've got a number of new listings coming up, a couple off market as well, one which has just gone under contract off market. So if you are a buyer out there looking for properties, give us a call. We'd love to keep in touch um, just in case that right property comes up for you that we can share with you. Uh, as always, guys, anything we can help with, give us a call. MPG with you all the way.